stage agent for schools. In this short video, I'm going to show you what stage agent looks like from a student's perspective. Stage agent for schools is unique from many of the other resources out there in that we have a two-sided platform. There is a teacher side where teachers can see all of our materials, our lesson plans, and assign particular materials to their students. As a student, I can also sign in and see what my teacher has assigned. So this is great for a flipped classroom, for independent use of technology, all of those things that we want to begin to incorporate in 21st century education. In this case, I'm going to go up to log in. You can see here is the login for teachers and here it is for students. Once students get their unique passcode, they can simply enter it here. Once they do that, then they can do a single sign-on with ClassLink, Clever, or Google. I've already copied and pasted a passcode, so I'm going to put it here and log in. On my student homepage, this is what I'm going to see. I have a button here for class lessons and quizzes. A little factoid about theater. A featured show, and this will change every time a student logs in. You can also do a quick tour to see what's available here. Monthly pro progress towards a leaderboard, and you pass quizzes, earn points, and get those badges. You can see here this student needs to earn 24 more points and then graduates from newbie to the next badge. And then very important for teachers, we have the announcements here. So students are able to see any announcements. This could be updates, assignments, anything like that, that are right here. And they'll know exactly what they need to do. At the top, students can do show research. They can peruse the learning modules. They can engage in the participate section. They can search the blog and they have this general search here that will search all of the resources on the site available to them. In the bottom corner here, this is a help bubble that will follow the student around on every page. So if they're ever stuck, all they need to do is click that bubble. In this case, we're going to click on class lessons and activities. And this is what the teacher has assigned for the class. Lessons, introduction to pantomime, the reading list. These are all module and show guides, theater basics, the comedy of errors, pantomime, both US and British. And there are a few assigned quizzes. Now, what am I supposed to do with this stuff? Well, this is where teacher announcements become important we get the directions of what to do with these guides and by when. If I wanted to go into any of these materials, I can do so as long as they're assigned, especially when it comes to lessons. So I'm gonna check out this lesson. This is what it looks like for the students. We have the title, we have the category or topic that it falls into, and then we have some important keywords. As the student, I can bookmark this if I need to. In the overview, this is what my teacher wants me to know. Here's what's in the lesson, our essential questions, and our learning objectives. Related resources. These are other places that I can look to understand more about pantomime. And there's even a Google Slides here that I can view. Videos. These are important videos that are in the lesson that my teacher wants to make sure I see. They are great examples of pantomime. And then quizzes. I know that this one's been assigned to me, so I'm going to have to take it at some point. If I go back to class activities, I can also look through this reading list. So let's say I want to look more closely at British pantomime. All I have to do is click and it takes me right to the guide. I hope this gives you a great overview of the student side of Stage Agent for Schools.